Hello, my name is Robert Brooks. The term is 1506 and the class is APD2. Um, just wanted to first take you through a walkthrough of my uh, application that I designed for uh, this month's class. The name of the application is Polyfactual. I wanted to go through and take you through some of the things about the first milestone um, that have been completed and some of the things that were a little bit frustrating. Um, Polyfactual basically one is a is an application that makes it very easy for you to research your your senators or your congressmen right from your phone without um, having to go through a mess and trying to it gives contact information it gives you voting information it also gives you um, it all it also gives you a voting record as well which is which is big so you can actually see how people have voted on certain subjects anyways. Let's launch it right here. You're looking. It goes to the uh, to the main screen, the poly the polyfactual screen. Um, we we put the, uh, the this milestone. We put the um, the icon up on the top. Um, you can search from your state, your zip code, or by name. So if you want to search by someone's name, you can do that as well. So just real quick, I'll show you. Search by zip code or search by name excuse me, a search, a search by state will just take you to the state um, that I clicked on in Alabama. They're all Alabama because they're just at this point right now in the project they're just static. Next week they'll be um, dynamic coming from um, external sources. But um, you can go through and, and view your um, members of Congress um, for, for wherever you pick. Now going back you can do the same thing for a zip code now zip code's a little bit different, you just can't enter anything in there. You gotta you have to have a valid zip code. Or it just really won't work. You can see your senators for that actual zip code. Those are your senators. This is your House of Representatives. Now sometimes because of how the districts are run, the zip code sometimes can have two House um, House members. Um, but it not very often. Going back in the final feature that we were working on in milestone one was the um, got the zip, we got the name, it was the uh, the results pages, yes the state, the actual results pages and, and what I'm thinking about doing in the future is actually consoling, is consolidating that into one page instead of using three results pages but um, everything works real well, I mean everything is laid out real well um, had some difficulty in the in I used the dark theme or a, a light with a dark action bar theme, which was pretty interesting because that I, I really needed to figure out how to style these um, tab navigations. Uh, it took a while, but I did find out how to how to style that. So it took a little bit longer than what I thought. But other than that, everything went really smoothly and. Um, and I hope to uh, hope it keeps going smoothly for next week. I don't have any change requests right now. I'm thinking of making one next week. Um, I have one thing that that I would like to to see that I think that that could better the application. Um, and my plans moving forward are just to stay on track, keep a good schedule. This week was a little short one, but next week's going to have plenty of time to um, to finish milestone two. And there's no doubt about it. The way we did this week. Milestone 2 will not be um, as hard as this week, I don't believe. So, um, I uh, that is pretty much it for me for this video. Um, we are starting coding again on Monday. We're taking the day. Off. I am taking the day off on on Sunday and starting to code again Monday. So. Um, thank you very much, and I look forward to ne next uh, next week's project. Thanks. Bye bye.